Hey guys, my name is Frank, this is Pogvog, and today I'm going to be playing Mist by Watabu. So, Watabu is a great indie developer. He made Pixel Dungeon and Switchhook, two really great Android games. This actually started off as a PC game, like most of his games, and luckily for us, it was ported to Android. So, But you can't get it on the Play Store, but don't worry about that. I'll provide a link to a download in the description of the video. So anyway... I am this guy with the torch and the sword. My goal is to collect different runes. There are three different types of runes. My goal is to collect blue runes, but there are also yellow runes and red runes. So what this yellow T rune does is it refills my torch meter, which is the yellow meter in the top right. As you can see, it just filled back up a little bit. These tiki head things that are following me around. Oh my gosh, there's three of them. When I first played the game, I did not realize this, but these tiki heads, the color of their eyes changes, and depending on the color of their eyes, they do different things. Right now, they have red eyes, so if I attack them, I'm going to lose health, and I don't do any damage to them. They have yellow eyes, I lose a little bit less health, and I think I actually damage them when they have yellow eyes. When they have transparent eyes like that, I don't take any damage, and I think it takes like two hits to kill them, so. One of the things I've learned is that it's good to just take care of these guys because they don't actually attack you. The only time you take damage is when you attack them and they have red eyes, so. Feel free to walk amongst them and try to outsmart them, try to make them disappear with the mist. Anything that falls outside of your square field of view here will be consumed by the mist. So, for instance, this guy to the right, Oh, he's gone. He was consumed by the mist, so. There's another blue rune. So I'm going to collect these blue runes, and hopefully I come across some more torch runes here, because I am running out of steam. Man, I don't know if I'm going to make it. It's a real possibility. No, I think I can do it. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Why? Why would you do this to me? I'm just gonna go for it. I think I can make it though. Health is kind of a commodity. You kind of have to... It's better to have low health than it is to have low torch fluid. Because torch fluid. Torch light meter, I don't know what you want to call it. Basically, it's better to be low on health than low on torch meter because when you run out of torch meter you die and chances are you're not going to run out of health unless you're just really bad at avoiding these tiki head guys which by the way it's good to take your time when they're following you and eliminate them as soon as possible because they don't damage you and for instance say you see a rune that you want to get say there's a blue rune right there you want to take your time and defeat the enemies behind you. You don't want to let them trail behind you just because you want to get that rune as soon as possible. I'm just going to go for it. Because they're just going to keep following you, and you can eliminate them at any time. It's not like they do damage to you. Your biggest fear is being backed into a corner. That right there was a health rune, so the third rune that you can collect. So now I'm about to collect the final blue rune. Actually, maybe I, I get one more. There we go. I thought I had the final rune, but I didn't. And immediately, that giant tiki head appears. And he is not messing around. You do not want to get stuck in a corner with this guy unless you have full health. So, Because he'll take quite a few hits. And I think one more should do it. There we go. And then we advance to the next level. I have not beaten this game yet. I have been to the level after this level. And it's basically the same thing. You're doing the same exact thing. It's just different scenery. I'm not sure what happens at the end of the game. It's kind of a mystery. Yeah, a mystery? Yeah, it's a mystery. And all the mists. So, encourage you to go and get this game and play it. Because it's actually pretty cool. When I first played it, I didn't know how to play it. Which is why I'm giving you an explanation of how to play because once I, I figured out that the 
eye color of the tiki heads changes and you can defeat them without constantly taking damage the game actually becomes a lot of fun if you don't know that little bit though the game is really difficult much more difficult than it has to be it's already a very difficult game also manipulating the playing field by using the mist to your advantage even though that the fact that the mist exists kind of sucks but you can kind of still use it to your advantage by changing your game layout so for instance right here i got that barrier of trees boom barrier of trees taken out by the mist you could also do the same thing with enemies so say i want to oh i don't know if i'll be able to lose these guys but ah i can't i'm actually gonna get stuck here this is the worst case scenario i'm cornered in with two tiki's But all is not lost. Oh my gosh, except it kind of is. I think I'm going to meet my fate here. But that's okay. I showed you guys what I wanted to show you. I showed you a couple different little tricks that you need to know to play this game. And all I can say is don't lose hope because Watabu games are pretty awesome. So I'm sure the ending of this game is well worth playing for. And I hope I'm not making too big an assumption there because I have not beat it yet. Oh man. Not feeling the best. Probably gonna probably gonna die soon. Don't think I'm gonna make it to the next level. Have not collected nearly enough blue runes. And it's that situation I was talking about where I'm low on health. I'd rather be low on health than uh on torch meter, but would prefer to have full of both and definitely encounter more blue runes there we go there's a blue rune just going for it going going ham it would be a mistake to get this rune and box myself in but you know what doing it anyway now i'm in some dire straits here i really need some health saw a health rune forgot that Allowing that health rune to be consumed by the mist would completely destroy it. Ah, and I'm dead. That was my fault, but I showed you guys what I wanted you to see, and hopefully it was enough to make you want to go download the game, because it's definitely a very awesome game, and hard to get. You can't get it on the Play Store, like I said, so I'm going to provide you that download link, and hopefully you go give it a try for yourself. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the content here, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it's Pog Vlog, and I'm going to have more of these videos coming out very soon, so hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a good one.